modularization modularization technique we have subroutines okay and include module pool programming you can also reuse your executable program okay. and your function module okay so these are the techniques available in the above like we, we can use this for reusing the code and also for optimizing the code and improve the readability of the code okay there are a few techniques and so like the different situations we use the different techniques the based on what we need okay and the subroutines is like we we'll discuss one by one now first one is subroutine subroutine is like a more or less equal to the procedure what we studied in our c language so it is a for reason of code you have you have to write a perform followed by your subroutine name okay and this is this is the call to the subroutine and definition you will define like form the subroutine name okay your statements your code you will write here and form okay perform is a call to your subroutine and form and end form is the definition part where you are defining defining your subroutine it means the whatever that like purpose whatever the code you require to you will specify inside this and this is the perform so the same block of code you wanted to execute twice you can say perform subroutine again it means same piece of code executed twice this way we can reuse our code okay so something like you have some, uh, some like you have a small uh, arithmetic calculation that where you are providing the two input variables and you are expecting an output in a one situation like you, you can say like you know, perform add perform add two numbers so it will do as the input parameters and you expect one as output parameter okay in that case you can write the definition here and the same stuff if a same arithmetic operation or something you are performing many times inside your program in that case you can keep the same block into your subroutine and you can reuse for multiple number of times okay and we have the second option of this perform you can also pass parameters perform your subroutine name and this parentheses are not in part of syntax this is this is a demo syntax okay perform your subroutine name and you can pass parameters using the parameters parameter 1 okay then changing parameter 3 okay and here it means i am passing these two parameters and i am expecting this parameter from as the input like okay no this is yeah this are the uh, you can say like that these are the two parameters which we are passing to the subroutine and we are expecting this one from subroutine mm -hmm. okay yeah. uh like uh, if you have studied in any programming language like c or uh, java there we have seen the functions right have you seen have you seen c function uh, yes c 
functions is something like you call like like this f u n c the function you call like this right right and function definition you will you will start here if you remember the c okay so this part is like a function the same way what we are writing here so this is not new concept is the same concept what we have also done other things and here you can pass the parameters between your function call and function definition right the parameter passing is goes in the three ways in three different types of passing the parameters first of all what you know is call by reference okay call by value right you remember what is call by reference and call by value no one 